-hmm. And uh, this is not designed to be a commercial, but we created that course to train people to create the lives they want. And, you know, we spend so much uh, time learning other things. Very few people have learned the creative process. And the thing I want to say about I, well, sometimes, sometimes they have in their arts, writing or, or painting or mm -hmm. designing or whatever, but they don't know how to apply what they know on a professional level to their own life-building process. And um, the creative process is the most successful process for accomplishment in history. I mean, it's created all of the arts, it's created technology, it's created really civilization. And yet we do not have exposure to it on the level. You know, there's people who do creativity, that's not the creative process. That's creativity. It's a whole other thing. That's simply idea generation. What we're talking about is the ability to conceive of something, uh, set it up so that the probability is that you create it, take the steps that it takes, that it requires, and create that, and then have that. Um, the, the consummate professional creators uh, have a reliable process uh, that can bring into being those things that they designate or target that they want to bring into being. So what this course does is it enables people to go through a, a process. And the way the course, by the way, you, uh, the course originally was a five-week course in which you did one class a week, which sort of duplicated um, a course I created years ago called DMA, uh, and people would go to classes once a week, and this course would have duplicated that on an online version. The new course has daily lessons, and it goes on for around three months. So every day you're doing a very small lesson, and then you're living with that lesson throughout the day. And each lesson is designed to build a creative muscle so that, in fact, you learn more and more and more how to position yourself as a creator, how to mechanically uh, create the, the, to how to know yourself in terms of the spirit of the creative process. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about in answer to your question about the, um, how one learns is when people come to the course who don't happen to know what they want to create, you know, they, they know what they want to create, but they don't quite know what they want to do. The, the, what we have them do is start small. And one of, in one of the um, exercises in the course, people are asked to create something every day that's between 5 and 15 minutes. So it might be a recipe, it might be a drawing, it might be something like cleaning up a room, or it might be, you know, uh, making a flower arrangement. Um, and the point of those activities is to start to build muscles, just like practicing the piano. You know, you, you're doing the scales, and then you can do Mozart. It's very hard to do Mozart until you learn your scales, since he writes so many scales. So um, this is sort of like the rudiments of the creative process is to practice, practice, practice. It's not attitudinal. It is skill-based, and it also is orientational. Who are you as creator? What's your position as a creator in relationship to the creation? And it's based on your spirit, too, the, the instinct, the spirit that we have as human beings to want to create, to want to bring things into being. And especially, you think about this, creative process is the most successful process in history, isn't it make, doesn't it make sense to use that in creating your own life? And your life itself becomes the subject matter of the creative process rather than a problem to solve. Now, some people are dedicated problem solvers, and I want you to notice, problem solvers, this fact. You can solve all of your problems and still not have what you want. Problem solving is taking action to have something go away. A lot of times people assume, well, there's a problem I have, maybe it's psychological, maybe it's psychic, maybe it's uh, on some emotional level, and if once I get my problem solved, then, well, then I can go and start to have what I want. You can solve all of your problems and still not know how to create. Creating is a different animal than problem solving. And also you can get rid of all your beliefs and still not, you know, you could spend years trying to get rid of beliefs and still not be creating because... You, you, that's, that's right. Where your energy is going. Or you can spend years trying to get the right belief and not be creating. Mm -hmm. the same, right. Same, it's the other side of the same coin. Yeah. Right. So well, that's because I so have, my, oh. look. My, you know, I, I mean, certainly I write books about this stuff, and I, want, I would like people to read them and, and so on. Mm -hmm. And and uh, 
the reason I do that is because I want to share a good thing. And in my opinion, after all these years, uh, the best way to learn to create is, is to take lessons on how to create. The same way the less, best way to learn how to swim is to take lessons, the best way to learn how to play the cello is to take cello lessons by somebody who knows how to play the cello. <laughs> that's, 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 it, it, it's sort of almost very common sense, isn't it? Well, you know, it's funny. In music, you know, they sometimes will say people people teach when they don't know how. They don't know how they teach, but that never is true in music. You never go study piano with somebody who's not to play the piano or cello by somebody who doesn't know how to play the cello. I mean, it's right. kind of a silly notion, really. Right. Well, I I had a friend who was learning how to draw, and and, and she spent a year. Uh, learning how to draw circles and 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 lines, you know that's that's what they did yeah. for a year, yeah. and 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 you know how to shade, you know it's like these very basic, very that's basic things that she had to to learn before she could get to that next place where she could create what she wanted to create, yeah. and you know it, it it was a process, but she was very dedicated to getting there. That's right. You know she it, had a vision great. of what she wanted to create. It, and it's great, it's great stuff. And a lot of times mm-hmm. people think there's some secret, you know, like speaking of the secret, right. that if they have Dumbo's magic feather, they can fly, to, to put it metaphorically. And, in fact, there's work to do. There's things to learn. There's habits to develop. There's habits to get rid of. You know, I'd say about our course, you know, some of it's learning and some of it's unlearning. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. And I'm, I'm, I have not yet done the new course, but I have done the the five week version in in different formats over the years, and and it's always, you know, it, it's interesting because I one of the things that I noticed for myself that I always used to say I can create out of nothing, and then I said, oh, I used to be able to create out of nothing, and when I had to really think about that, I said, well, really nothing changed from the point where I said I could create out of nothing and not create out of nothing, except that I decided I couldn't no longer create out of nothing. You know, it was sort of like that was the only thing that changed was my own thought of of my ability to create. And, and that was sort of a revelation to me because I thought some outside force had sort of stopped me from creating out of nothing. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's like something out there yeah. clearly has been interfering with my creative process. Otherwise, I'd be able to create out of nothing. Yeah. Sure said, well, oh, wait well, a you second. Know what? There's a lot to be said for learning how to do things you want to learn how to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And there is definitely. So, okay, so we have, let's see. Let me go look at my, we have about six minutes left, a little over six minutes left. So let's, because I and I would also just have people go to Wise Pond for your blog entries because so many of these kind of thoughts that we're talking about you have laid out very nicely. Because I'm looking at your New Year's resolve in front of me, which you you talk about. Don't base your motivation on correcting the problems of the past. Yeah. And I, you know, I think you know going to what you said. That's what usually we do. We have a problem. We want to fix the problem, so we create our goals around fixing that problem, yeah. and 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 usually end up not very successful. Well, there's a, there's a reason well, why it's not, not very successful. There's a reason it's not very successful, and it's structural. And by the way, we also I ta- I teach um, a course in the Leadership Academy for Harvard Vanguard, which is the largest uh, medical provider in Massachusetts. And mostly it's doctors in the course. And I ask, in the beginning, I ask, how many of you are dealing with lifestyle issues like overeating and asthma and diabetes and, uh, you know, half the room? And I explain to them that the process that usually we see in the medical uh, world is trying to uh, warn people into good health, you know, telling them all those bad things will happen if they don't straighten themselves out. And they will straighten themselves out temporarily, but since the driving force is their emotional conflict, having taken the action to to help reduces the emotional conflict, which leads to less future action because their motivation now is weakened. Mm -hmm. So uh, Robert Frost said it best. He said, I never tried to worry anybody into intelligence. Mm -hmm. And what we're talking about is, you know, on the one hand is this positive thinking, which I, you know, call lying, and I think it's detrimental to your creative process because you're not telling yourself the truth. 
And on the other hand, on the other spe- side of that spectrum, is trying to uh, is, is, is warn yourself and manipulate yourself through worry, through visions of all the bad things that will happen unless you do this or that. Neither approach can really succeed long term. And that's why um, you can't get there from there. You have to go somewhere else. And somewhere else you can go, though, is the creative process. Oh, by the way, I also, um, uh, besides the Wise Pond uh, site, there's our, uh, we do a Facebook uh, page. Um, and that's, uh, you, can, you don't have to belong to Facebook to be on our Facebook page. But the best way to get there is to go to our uh website, which is www.robertfritz.com, and I also write articles uh, for that site as well. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely, I have to say, you know, uh, people, besides doing the, the course, which um, I would highly recommend, and as I said, I've not taken the new course, but having done the, the previous course, I'm, I'm certain, certainly guaranteed that the new course will be equally and uh, more exceptional but robert's books are also really very very impactful and and helpful and and um you know Thank just you. you know are are my you know sort of my classic you know standard bearers and the ones i go back to every now and then when i'm sort of going you know feeling you know in in that sort of weird funk i i, I pick up your life as a work of art and i'm i'm completely you know i'm back in in place again so i, I do great. highly Thank recommend you. Highly recommend doing everything Robert does. Let's just put it that way. Uh-huh, thanks so much. <laughs> just do yeah. it. Just do Thank it you. all. Okay, so in our, our our three minutes that that are left, and um, and I just you know thank you for this conversation because I do think it's very helpful for people to sort of be engaged in this creative process, even if they don't consider themselves artist or whatnot, life is a creative process. What you know, what are your what final thoughts would would you have to offer to our listeners in our last uh, two minutes and thirty seconds that we have here so that they they can go on and create the okay. life that they that they really desi- desire. Let me let me say a few different things very quickly. Uh, first of all, you're not a problem to be solved. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just fine. And those people want to make you the life problem and try to fix you up and stuff like that. And then the guarantee on the other side is that then everything will be okay. Look, you know, it's not about that. It's probably more about this. You really have true aspirations and very deep values. And the question is, have you organized your life around your highest aspirations and your deepest values? And if you haven't, it's not because you have a flaw. It's probably more because you don't know how. And there's no solution to have, as it were, a problem. There is something to learn. And that should give you both hope and um, uh, a place to go that is consistent with what you really want. Mm-hmm. And so I, I love that your life, idea that you're not a problem. Be, mm-hmm. Sorry? I'm sorry. I, I love that idea that your 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 life is not a – you're not a problem to be solved. That, you know, that's, this I is the way really structure – this is the way structure works. If I take one person out of that structure and put a different person in, they're going to act exactly the same way right. because it's the underlying structure that's causing the behavior, not the person, him or herself. And if we change the structure to one that's more productive, then they will become more productive. And and, uh, and I mean productive in the sense of not just making things but being true to themselves in the deepest way. In the deepest way, yeah, and that, I think that's really very important. Is that we're it, it's allowing people to really live a deep and meaningful life and 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 an authentic life, you know, yeah. based on you know real power. And and the, and each of us has that ability to create, no matter you know where we are. It's just a matter of learning how to do it, maybe in some aspects. Right. Well, your starting point right. is only your starting point; it's not your ending point. Such a point. So, Robert, why don't you tell everyone your your sites again and where they can find you, and okay. uh, so, and we'll close with your longer piece of, piece of music. So, okay, I have no okay. idea which one you're going to play, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, the uh, for t- t- the online course called Structures, an online mm-hmm. course in creating your life. That is at WisePond, one word, WisePond.com, uh, and our 
uh, site is robertfritz, one word, dot com. And uh, you get information on both sites. Very good. Well, thank you again, Robert, for joining us for the new year and, and, and setting people off on a track of really creating a life that they, they want. I, I appreciate the, the time with you. Yeah, I appreciate the time with you, too. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you.